Oh. Jenna joins us, I'm delighted to say. Morning. Morning. Uh, what's it like working on something that the whole world is excited to see? Oh, amazing. It's just wonderful to... It's so strange because you go to work in Cardiff every day and it kind of feels like home and it's, you know, the same place. And then you kind of finish filming and you go kind of all over the world and you realise kind of how far-reaching mm. it is and yeah. how much people love it as oh, well. They do absolutely love it. And we know there's going to be a few surprises in this. There's been a lot of speculation mm -hmm. about this big show. You know, everybody's waiting for it. We believe there will be three doctors. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. I can say that, yes. You can. can. Say that. Yes. Okay. Three David Tennant's coming back. David Tennant, yes. and we have John Hurt as the <gasps> other doctor. The dark doctor. No, the John dark Hurt, doctor. That must be, working with him just must be like an acting masterclass. Oh, he's so cool. We'd literally, in between takes, we'd kind of all gather around in our chairs and we'd just listen to his stories. Oh, gosh, I bet he can tell a yarn. Yeah. Absolutely. We saw there all of the doctors, and it depends what time you were growing up. For me, Patrick Troughton was mm -hmm. my doctor. For you? Um, you see, I like the Tom modern Baker? ones. Yeah, Tom Baker was when I was when a child, but, yeah. yeah, I like the modern ones as well. I do, I do. And, of course, you're going to be working with Peter Capaldi. Yes. Just so exciting. Have you started yet? We have. Um, Matt Smith has left. We've done his last scene, and oh. Peter has, um, has definitely arrived. What was that last scene like, though? Because I know you and Matt are, are very close. Yeah. Uh, you only got the job, didn't you, because you spoke quicker than him or something like that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> apparently, apparently, that's why I was cast, because he had to keep up with me. <laughs> but but you know, that must have been very sad when you'd had that script for the first time. And... I, I knew it was going to be sad, but, I mean, it was, it was really traumatic. It was very... Um, very emotional and overwhelming and um but it, it's a strange thing because it's the nature of the show and it's so brutal in that sense of you know matt leaves and, and peter and arrives in his in, costume and course. the scene carries on and you just keep going <laughs> we just, just keep, keep going it's it's tough, yeah it is it? it's <laughs> very very tough well that's tougher <laughs> mm, no very much so but it's it's been such a great role for you it really has and you've um, you've been doing other things as well this this gives you a springboard to other things too and you've met the fans because you've been to the first convention yes and comic con as yes as well what was that like oh cool massive massive it's kind of um it's kind of like a big festival like Coachella or something like that but everybody's dressed up as their favorite superhero oh. and kind of celebrating their favorite tv shows okay and it, it, the, the no, affection no it's just the affection we both have got yeah. affection for doctor <laughs> it's that whovians the, the real yeah. fans are called whovians aren't they um and that must be brilliant to actually meet as you said because there you are filming In and Cardiff. then you go out into the big world and it's like wow yeah and do people dress up as like ice warriors and, and cybermen? People go to so much detail. It's I was sat in a restaurant and um, and somebody came over and asked for a picture and I was like, yeah, sure. And I turned around and then they were literally dressed as Oswin with kind of <laughs> but the detail with like an egg whiskey, big utility belt, rose mm. in a hair. Like wow. the, it's amazing detail people go to. <laughs> now listen, is it true <laughs> that you'd never seen Doctor Who before taking no. the role? Seriously, you'd never no. seen it. Goodness sake, girl. <laughs> but it's a strange thing because you were aware. I knew who all the doctors were of and the course. companions, but I I never watched it. It was never on TV when I was a child. Child, oh. as a denied child. <laughs> you were? Because oh, there was that terrible time in the history of television mm -hmm. when there was no Doctor Who. <laughs> and, we and it was the fans. The yep. fans just kept saying, it was like Star Trek, just bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. And eventually, the powers that be listened, and thank goodness they did. <laughs> and apparently this weekend it's going to be bigger and better than ever, isn't it? Uh, lots of stunts as well. Yes, there are lots of um, moments, I'll say. And, of course, 3D, um, for oh, those at the cinema and for those with 3D TV. Um, oh. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it, there's lots for there's lots for the fans. Isn't that incredible? So it's on TV, but it's also on about 400 cinemas Amazing. where you can Amazing. enjoy the 3D effect brilliant. as well. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Long may you continue. Yes. To be the guardian angel of the <laughs> of the doctors. That's sort of what you are, Ruby, isn't it? It's great yeah. to see you. Thank you. Thank so you. So looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. Nice to see you. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.